Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, y'all, so basically, Blueface's mom, Carlissa, got into it with YouTuber Tasha K. Carlissa wasn't too happy about Tasha K speaking on Blueface and Krishan's relationship, so she posted on her Instagram story calling Tasha K broke. Even though Tasha K flew her out for an interview and paid for everything. So that's when Tasha K went on Instagram Live. She tried to invite Carlissa on the live so they could talk it out, but Carlissa didn't want to join the live. And that's when Tasha K got on live and she ended up dragging Carlissa, Jaden, Blueface, and Krishan. Go ahead, delete all the messages. Listen. And then she got the nerve to come back to say, wow. After she done called me broke and all this. Sh wow, if you wanted anything else from off this table carlissa says you should have asked before you allowed the devil to convince you to take it says blue face mother take that live and shove it up shove it in your camel teeth i should have known when you said you have no love for the woman who brought you into this world because she needs money that you had no respect for anyone else. I pray God bless your son with a rock just to see how it feels. Girl, you, you know how awful of a mother you were, okay? Like, I, if I, it, 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 it's so bad that you don't even have contact with your own kids unless there's a check involved. Unless there's a check involved. Now, let's talk about these receipts since you want to call me broke. Okay? Let's talk about how broke you and your daughter were. Okay? Y'all come from California in leather pants and sweaters. Y'all came from California to South Florida. You flew in on JetBlue on my dime. You stayed in a hotel on my dime. Okay? You ate Fargo the Child on my dime. You rode around in Ubers on my dime. You refused to buy a wig on my dime. It's on camera. But Blueface seems to never do nothing wrong. This is a mother that's a narcissist herself and raised. The, she didn't even know that she was raising a narcissist to use the narcissism against her son. But you want to say the reason, I, the, because I don't, I, I have issues with my mama is because of you. It's because of, it's because of sorry. Mothers like you, you shouldn't have been nobody mama. The proof is in the pudding, but like I said, the difference between me and my mama, your mama, and, and I mean, you and my mama, my mama got a nurse <laughs> that's married. She got an ex track star and, a, and an appraiser, real estate appraiser, and she got me. Okay? And we don't call our mom to ask her for money. Okay? We don't get on live to put her out you know what i'm saying what else do we not do to our mom we don't let our friends or husbands beat up our mom like blue face watch this girl in his kitchen literally we have watched your son do this over and over to every woman why his first relationship with any woman was yours was with you and the way somehow something went wrong. I remember you saying you left him as a little boy hungry in the house, went to jail for days. He didn't know where his next meal was going to be. He was sitting in the house. Lights was off. Water was off. You was out here fighting. You was a sorry. And now you understand why he don't really with women like that. It's because he don't chew. So he treat Krishan the way he treats you, y'all all get treated the same. Jaden Alexis, Krishan, the sister, every woman that's in his life. Which makes me think that what Krishan said, according to Krishan, during that little live when she took the chair and threw it into the uh, uh, wall of the video game and she asked him, um, was it a guy or a girl? Was it a guy or a girl? This is why he either dates women that looks like transgender, okay? Because Jaden and Alexis look every bit of a transgender woman, okay? Mm -hmm. Or they're mannish, very manly like Krishan. Or like Krishan said, was it a guy or a girl? I think he secretly likes men. 
in my opinion, okay, because of the toxic relationship that you have with him and the relationship that every woman in his life has had with him. So he finds more pleasure in men and he beats on women because of that. Lord. You will blame that little girl from the grave for everything that your son did because you have refused to take accountability for your son's mothering ways and you put shit in him. So much so, okay, according to Krishan, she got to ask whether or not he cheating with a guy or a girl because every girl that done came on camera looks mighty questionable. Like, he hates you. He hates you, lady. Your own son hates you. And he about to marry, look, and, and, and word is on the street, she about to marry your man. Krishan Rock is about to marry your man, Carlissa. Your man that you raised, that you did, that you done ran every woman away for. Because he's supposed to be taking care of you. He's supposed to buy you a house. He, he's supposed to put you first, okay? Carlissa, huh? But I tell you what, listen, I'm going to go ahead and get off the side. I'm going to spare you. I'm going to spare you. I'm going to spare you. Okay, so Carlissa was present during the live, and she was commenting some comments. But after Tasha K finished her live, Carlissa went live to respond, and she claims that she can't believe that Tasha K did this to her, and she confided in her. But she seems to forget that she went on Instagram and called her broke. Carlissa even went as far as to say that Tasha K's husband was thirsting over her and Callie Way, and he wouldn't stop staring at them. I definitely don't think Carlissa's used to having someone match her energy. She's used to dragging people and talking crap about people and no one comes back to attack her. But little does she know, Tasha K is the one. Tasha K will come for anybody who tries to come for her. That's actually what Tasha K is known for. When I first started watching Tasha K, that's all she did was drag people. To come and do an interview, you're putting your podcast. Y'all make sure y'all get this back to her because... That wasn't good marketing. However, it might get you a few dollars tomorrow. That's why I tell all my business and put all my business on the table myself. Because nobody can come back and say nothing about me because I already said it myself. So everything she said, I already, I said that in her interview, it was two hours long. Baby girl, I gave you a two hour long interview. With your husband licking and thirsting after me. I gave you a two hour long interview, lady. You said you was paying for everything. I had to keep asking you for the money so that I could give that to Callie. Because that's what you promised. You asked us for a whole interview for that. you For a whole year to do that interview with you, baby. And now you, I guess, you know, you did all of that. Talked about BM. You talked about everybody. Like, I didn't say all of that in the interview. And then tried to, at the end of it, do a sales pitch. Sitting there looking like, I don't even know what that was. I can't believe your husband lets you sit at home and look like that. That scared me. Like, what type of husband is just letting you sit there and look like that? That was horrible. You have a whole husband. You should never, ever in your life be sitting there looking like that. That scared me. Like, I could not ever. I hope she's in here. I hope she knows we prayed for her podcast. We did all of that. Now, numbers, you know, you, you see my family is doing a little bit of, you know. <laughs> I, I just, I did not pick you to be that. I, I, I. I I sympathized with you about the Cardi stuff because you probably was just getting started and went too far. You know what I'm saying? I would have helped repost that stuff. Like, I got a, a good energy and a good vibe from you when I was down there. You didn't look anything like that. But, I mean, I just, I, I don't get it. My husband is on a work assignment. He should be here any minute. So we have to get this all wrapped up and get my energy back up before he gets home. But <clears throat> that was a mess. That was the last person I expected to like 
come at me with anything other than I hope you're okay because I confided in her. You know what I'm saying? I I let the lady know like how how bad this bothers me. Like Whew. She was trying to join. Girl, that was that was just too much. Like lady she rambled on about Jaden and Callie. This, they didn't have nothing to do with this disagreement that you and I are having. This was strictly about me and you. You was mad because I said your husband was looking at me too much, which he was, and looking at Callie too much, which he was. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't let my dog off the leash like that. I don't know what that was you got going on, but, I mean, he probably knows that you're not really attracted to him. You're just using him for his sound. And his, you know, th that's that equipment and that setup that he got going on for you. He probably knows. That's why he looking like a thirst hound or whatever. But you didn't have to throw other people under the bus. Like, it wasn't necessary. I mean, but I, I, by the looks of you, that's why he's looking all around and stuff. Like, can you imagine somebody's husband coming home and their wife is sitting on the couch looking like that? arguing with somebody else like i don't even know how you get a pet my husband would never let me just like that was not okay to just be sitting there looking like that mm -mm, there was no that 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 right there mm -mm, i ain't never seen nobody look like that baby you bet not never ever ever let no man catch you looking like that i couldn't tell if the titties was in or out I, what was they doing they was left they was right they was crusty they was black they was ashy i, I just don't know what that was like I, i've never seen her look like that so i don't even know if that was the person that i was talking to maybe you going through something you know what i'm saying this is a bad week for you you on your menstrual i don't know um, but I'm just going to, I'll wait, I'll wait for the apology. And if you want one, I'm, I'm grown enough to give you one. But anyway. Now, as for Blueface and Krishan, they're apparently getting married today, despite the fact that Blueface claims he doesn't believe in marriage and that he doesn't want to get married. Krishan was spotted trying on gowns at a store and she allegedly made a down payment on a dress. Because Krishan believes that if she pays Blueface $3 billion, that he will marry her. Blueface's mom, Carlissa, claims that Krishan only did that because she knows that Jaden's dress fitting is coming up. She also claims that her and Jaden's mom will be meeting up for a dress fitting. I'll definitely post the live where Carlissa talks about it at the end of this video. DJ Sky High Baby also went live yesterday and she claimed that she had to get her nails done for a wedding that she will be attending tomorrow. So we don't know if she's talking about Blueface and Krishan's wedding or if she's talking about somebody else's wedding. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section down below and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm headed to go get my nails done. I have a, a wedding to get to tomorrow. Girl, I'm trying to ignore them, but it be so many of them, and I can't get the yellow bus on here fast enough. Um, no, I'm not, but I will be meeting my um, other mother of honor to try on our dresses. Y'all know I can't let see on out, do we? Because she's so tiny. I'm over here. This is my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the day. Let me um let me call her.